Hey guys, Greg here with Aspis Holsters, and I wanted to talk to you guys uh, today about uh, converting your uh, membrane vacuum former to a um, membraneless. If you guys are like me, when you uh, first started out with uh, vacuum forming, you bought a um, really nice um, membrane vacuum former, and the technology changed, and now everything is going to membraneless. Because you get better definition it's a little faster um, so on and so forth and now we're stuck with these nice uh, membrane formers and we don't know what to do with them so I've been trying to figure out how to convert my membrane to a membraneless and I've come up with something that is it's working it's not perfect but it's getting better and uh, so you guys take a look at this chime in uh, when you uh, with any ideas that you guys might have to help make it better uh, so anyway, what we have is um, we have the HD200 uh, from HD Industries. It's this guy right here, membrane former with a uh, surge tank, home built from uh, parts from Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards. I wish we had a Menards here in Arkansas. We don't. Um, Menards is like the uh, El Dorado of home improvement stores. But anyway, um, so as you can see, um, with this, with the uh, surge tank, then I can uh, I can get a pretty good pretty good definition out of that. I got a leak. I got a leak. I got to fix in the membrane. But anyway, um, if we open the bed, what I've taken is a, a piece of Lexan that you can get. Turn that off. Piece of Lexan that you can get at home improvement store. It, I think this one's a. It's either an eighth or a quarter inch thick. I think it's a quarter inch thick, and I cut it to fit inside the bed and right where the uh, the pickup is for the vacuum. I just drilled several little small holes, and if you're using a um, mold such as, hey, let me get a different one here. If you're using a mold such as a HID, I mean, I'm sorry, a, a DIY moth drone or moth mold then it's got these air channels already um in the back so that when you drill your your uh, your holes through the top they coincide with the uh, air channels on the back which provides you your uh, your air escape so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try if i can to uh, set my phone up because my gopro decided to uh blink out on me and if I can get this to sit here, I'll show you guys kind of how, how it works. So, got a piece of plastic in there already. Believe it or not, cheap frame from... Cheap frame from just about anywhere uh, it gets the job done not perfect but it works we're not going to use the surge tank but we got about 30 more seconds I'll go ahead and open the uh, open the surge tank up let it go ahead and uh, and evacuate so that to show you that guys that aren't using the surge tank um, it still works regardless and in another 14 actually that's been on there for a minute or so it's probably close enough to being done. We're gonna call it done. And good floppy, go ahead and hit the pump. Lay it over. And there it goes. And if you hold pressure for just a little bit while it, while it cools a little bit around the edge, and it generally stays sucked down as it is now and then you can kind of massage out your, your corners and your edges such as and let's see I'll try to get you guys a close-up so that you can see how well that actually looks
so anyway uh it's it's kind of rough it is what it is but it does get the job done and you can pick up this stuff i think i may have i don't know probably less than 20 bucks i just i've used um uh, gorilla masking tape there's got to be a better way to seal this um, other than gorilla tape um, it's temporary right now but it like I say it gets the job done so um, so anyway that's it um, experiment with it see what you guys can come up with and uh, as always I appreciate you guys watching if you like the video give it a like if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down if you got anything to add uh, feel free to leave a comment appreciate you guys have a good day.